whatever I say today will not be transcribed below. I will be dealing with an English text. I'm going to deal with the sacraments. Now there is a book which I have uploaded to my website. And the screen shared. I'm using Zoom software, okay? I'm screen sharing now. Okay, I can type in hessen.org. Okay, this is my website. Hessen.org. Essendon stands for a spiritual son of its English. Yes, yes, I mean. And it's a couple of pages of the site. Now, this photo, I always have it around my home and on the computer. Um, the story behind it is the Spanish Civil War, destroyed church. A chalice was being passed out through the grill one of the windows, someone took a picture, and this picture that resulted. I guarantee you, I guarantee you that if you have this around my home, it will be a source of great grace. Now I've dug up some old files. Now they're nearly 20 years old, like this from Catholic Church. You'll see all these files are very old, okay, but they do reflect how um, traditional first were thinking back around 2000. Okay, now today I'm going to cover the sacraments. And there's a commentary by myself. Now, today the theology. Now, in moral theology, in the English speaking world, there is a classic text, the Handbook of Moral Theology. It was translated from the, from the Latin. And I believe you can find it in German, French, Italian, other languages, but today I'm referring to the one in English. So this is why um, I'm not leaving a transcript below. I realize some people aren't as computer literate as others, so please bear with me. There's two ways you can download a book like this. You can open it up and click on print up there. And you might have PDF software on, the, on your computer where you can do it that way. Or you can right click and save link gas. And it will take a couple of minutes. So I'll go to my, uh, my desktop, open up the book. Handbook of Moral Theology. It's a, it's a classic. This was published in Germany in 1949. It's such a classic, it's defined in all languages. Anyway, this one's uh, that's 1955, okay, so it's pre. Vatican II. Now, if you go to archive.org, it's a treasure trove of books. There's a lot of good books there. Um, but the very first thing you must do when, when someone offers you a book, the very first thing you do, even a prayer, like the, when Protestants pray, they can be very long winded. And the same things that come. Their mind. They might be talking heresy or, or error. 
So even prayers in a special books will have a nickel lobster and eat in the market. That's misspelled there, it should be, it should be an end. Infamata simply means it can be printed. So this bishop has given me okay to have this particular book printed. Nikil holds that. There's nothing against it, okay? So this bishop is declaring that there's nothing in here against faith or morals. That's error free. Okay. Now when you get to this book, if you click, do that again. What have I done? Okay, so back on the main screen. Okay, this that icon there, that's, that's the, um, the bookmarks. Okay, now you'll find that most of the PDF files that I upload are extended to the bookmark. Okay, so you open up the bookmarks. Um, so you click on that two by one, this happens in general. Let's go to baptism. Got a reason for doing this. The matter and form. Baptism. I'm about to talk about um, matter and form, okay? In this book, matter and form is generally speaking treated under each individual sacrament. And we'll go back to <laughs> the website. Okay, so that's the book. So we've got the, the, the transcript there of uh, the contents of. Um, Council of Trent, the Catechism of the Council of Trent, Finally Sacrament. Okay, this comes from the book I was just dealing with. Intention. And once again, from the same book. Matter and form. Now, from an idea of what I just said, that We'll find that and form under each uh, individual sacrament. Now, New Advent, if you don't know New Advent, it's Catholic Encyclopedia, but they're using a, an old, old traditional version. Put the name of the people and bring this out. Knights of someone, but they are traditional Catholics. Uh, now, this comes from um, New Advent, I think. So that's a description of what matter and form is. Basically, matter and form, but let's use confession. He would have had the experience of you go to confession, it may have only been a week since your last confession. Um, there hasn't been much to confess with the Lord. Every sin is a major offence against God. It's nothing, nothing mortal, let's say. And the priest will say to you, um, are you sorry for your sins with your past life or something like that? Um, he might even say to you, because you haven't really confessed your sins, he might even say to you, well, could, is there any particular sin in your past life that you want to con particularly confess? Can you, can you mention something? Okay. Now, why is he doing that? Because the, the matter of the confession are our sins. And now the form of the words that the priest uses in absolution. That's just one example. Now, we often find Software for me, so bear with me. Yeah. I find when dealing with Catholics, they know something's wrong, 
of the mainstream church. And they're not equipped to make correct decisions, good decisions. Because basically, they've got, they've got to have the training of the priest nowadays to be able to, to do that. Now, this is one reason that I'm doing this bit, so that it gives you a way of educating yourself, informing yourself about the sacraments. Now, I'm not saying anything new here, it's all traditional pre Vatican II material. I will be working on uh, sacrament of orders in particular. That's, that's where the church has fallen down. Through the validity of the Episcopal consecration, which is a great victory for Satan because it is what the church of Christ was. You go to Sunday Mass at the local church, it's not even a priest. God knows what he's doing, some kind of a play or something like that. The Mass is the offering, the sacrifice of Jesus and Mary to the eternal Father. Anything outside of that is comical. 